Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at a PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD from the company Next Storage. In this video I will go over the specs of the Next Storage, show you how to install and set up a second NVMe to your PC, and finally show you some benchmark results. Now before I begin, I want to give a big thanks to Newegg for sponsoring this video and for sending over a 4TB model and for also sending over a 2TB M.2 SSD to give away. So stay tuned to learn how to enter this giveaway. The Next Storage G-Series NVMe SSD comes with a 5 year limited warranty which will give you a peace of mind. Next Storage offers this in 3 different storage sizes. This comes in a 4TB, 2TB and 1TB capacity. The lifespan for each storage size differs. The 4TB drive can endure up to 3000TB of data written. The 2TB drive can handle 1400TB of data written. And you can expect up to 700TB written on the 1TB drive. So the G-Series NVMe drive is using TLC memory and 2GB of DDR4 SD RAM. All three different storage sizes have a max sequential read speed of 7300 megabytes per second. Both the 4TB and 2TB drives have a max sequential write speed of 6900 megabytes per second, while the 1TB drive has a max sequential write speed of 6000 megabytes per second. Now let's go ahead and install this in my editing rig. This could not have arrived at a better time. I was already planning on upgrading my PC case and AIO cooler, so I get to do all of that and install the next storage NVMe drive. I will leave the specs of my PC on the screen in case you are wondering what I am using in my PC build. Go ahead and power off your PC and disconnect all your cables. Then set your PC on its side and then remove the side panel. Most of the time the NVMe slots are usually located close to the GPU so let's go ahead and remove it to get access to it. We will start by removing the PCIe cables from the GPU and some of you may have one, two or three cables powering your GPU. It just depends on how much power your GPU needs. To remove the cables, push down on the top clip here to unlatch it and then gently pull it out and make sure to not pull from the cables. Now the next step is to remove the thumb screws from this bracket here that holds your GPU in place. Make sure to keep these screws somewhere safe where you won't lose them. Now this is the part that can get tricky. If your PC has a big tower fan, you will have a narrow space making it difficult to push down on the release lever so take your time. On a previous build, I had enough clearance to use the back of a pan to push down on it. If this is the case for you, try using something with enough surface area that can make full contact on the lever to avoid applying uneven force on it and breaking it off. Now if you have one of the latest motherboards, you may have a quick release button located somewhere near the right side. And this makes removing your GPU very easy. All you need to do is push down on this button and it will release the latch and then you can pull up on your graphics card. For this motherboard, there is a built-in heatsink plate covering my M.2 slots. I need to remove these 4 screws to get access to them. Make sure to refer to your motherboard's manual or manufacturer's website to locate yours. It should also tell you what speeds they are. To take full advantage of the next storage Gen 4 speeds, use a Gen 4 slot on your motherboard, otherwise you won't get the full speeds if you insert it in a lower Gen slot. If you are looking to swap out your C drive, you will need to clone your drive, and to do that you will need to download the Acronis software, and you can download this through their website. Now going back to inserting a second NVMe to your PC, I'm going to be replacing my 2TB Samsung 980 Pro that I use to store my videos that I edit. To do this, some of you may need to unscrew a small screw at the end here, and when you get it out, the NVMe SSD will pop up and you can remove it. This motherboard has a quick release latch that I just need to rotate for it to release it. So now let's go ahead and install the next storage drive. There is a little notch on the NVMe that you need to align with the notch on the connector on the motherboard. Once you align this, go ahead and insert it at a slight upward angle. And now go ahead and push down on the NVMe, and then secure it down with a screw or with a latch. Now all that is left to do is to put the heatsink cover plate back on if your motherboard had one. Now let's go ahead and put the GPU back on. To do this align the GPU with the motherboard PCIe slot and make sure that it seats properly. You should hear a subtle click when the graphics card is fully inserted and this lets you know that the retention arm has latched on. Put the bracket screws back on and then put the power cables back on your GPU and that's it. I have a GPU bracket stand that keeps my GPU from sagging so I went ahead and installed it. Now when you boot your PC on the device and drives, you will notice that your SSD won't show up so let's go ahead and configure the drive. Head over to the search bar and type create and format petition and select it. You will get an automatic prompt letting you know that you need to initialize your new drive. Go ahead and click OK. If you have multiple drives, scroll down until you see the drive that reads unallocated. Go ahead and right click on it and click where it says new simple volume. This will give you a new prompt so go ahead and click next, then click next again. In this section you can assign any letter to the drive that you want. When you're done go ahead and click next. Now from here you can label your drive under volume label. When you are satisfied with the name click next and then click on finish 
and your new drive should pop up and you will be able to see your new storage. So I use Crystal Disk Mark and Samsung Magician software to benchmark these NVMe SSDs. With the Crystal Disk Mark, I ran 5 passes of 1GB on all 3 drives using the NVMe SSD setting and also the default setting. Using the NVMe setting, you can see that all 3 drives were able to sustain a high read and write speeds on multiple passes. The next storage had a read speed of 6902MB per second and a write speed of 6781MB per second. The Samsung 980 had a read speed of 6399MB per second and a read speed of 4371MB per second, while the 990 Pro had a read speed of 7405MB per second and a read speed of 6870MB per second. Under the default setting, the next storage and both Samsung drives get a slightly higher read and write speed. I also did a test on 32GB. The next storage did really well. It was very close to the speeds of the 990 Pro. Now using the Samsung Magician software, the sequential read speeds clocked in at 7,379 megabytes per second and the sequential write speeds at 6,784 megabytes per second. The read and write speeds from the next storage drive ended up being faster than the Samsung 990 Pro. So I've been using this drive for the past three weeks and it has been performing great. The speeds are incredible. I have had zero issues with it so far. I know that's not a very long time, so I will keep you guys updated if I encounter any issues with it in the comment section. Now onto the giveaway, you must be in the US to be eligible to enter. If you would like to enter this giveaway, go ahead and drop a comment right below and you will be automatically entered for a chance to win. The winner will be randomly selected from the comment section and it will be announced on a YouTube Shorts video. So make sure to turn on your notifications for when that video drops in about two weeks from now. I will have the exact date in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Overall, if you're looking for a fast and high capacity NVMe SSD, the next storage G-Series NVMe can deliver on that for a reasonable price. I will go ahead and leave the link in the description in case you want to check it out. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to drop a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.